Let's bring in Rogers Healy, owner of Rogers Healy and Associates Real Estate, to break down some of the numbers that we've been seeing. Uh, what's your takeaway from this morning's numbers? It's the same takeaway from the past few years. It's, it's all great news. And we've seen a lot of people that I think the waiters are actually starting to make decisions, which is great. But these numbers, it's a, it's a big increase even from last year, which was another great year in the world of residential real estate. So yeah, it's, it's positive. It's nothing that we're surprised about, but it just gives people that much more confidence in making a massive financial decision. You're right. It is a massive financial decision. Right, I'll yes. say that um, some people are concerned about affordability at this time, despite low rates, that affordability is getting a little bit tricky. Um, that's one of the issues. The other issue is supply. Right. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just economics 101, supply and demand. So if you can't afford it, move to a place that you can't afford. But something that's also happening, which I've been preaching this for close to a decade, Rental rates are also at an all-time high, so you got to make a decision. If you want to live in the urban core, go save your money, maybe rent on the you know a few layers out to where eventually you can afford it. But what we've seen for the first time ever is millennials are moving into places that they now own. So because of that, we've seen a massive shift in the areas that used to be the hotspots. So yeah, it's it's a really really exciting time, but the the rules of real estate are changing just a little bit. Right. So, I mean, we love to see people owning homes, you know, especially, I mean, I, I know that their wages have been going up too, particularly for the younger folks. They've seen wage gains, which helps them to buy these great homes. Um, so your optimism stays, right? Nothing's changing, even though last month we had a little bit of a setback. Um, your big picture is optimistic and what holds that there and keeps that continuing? Yeah, I would say I'm more of a realist than an optimist, but I mean, numbers don't lie. And what we have seen is the places that, again, millennials are really historically moving to, we're seeing new cities that have just evolved as the words called hipsterbia. It's, it's like these neighborhoods that are getting disrupted by hipsters, by millennials, and they're moving out. So yeah, I'm, I'm an optimistic guy because this is my career, this is my livelihood, but I also read the articles just like you guys do. And I know that the numbers support positive outlooks for the world of real estate. Yeah, and we've seen uh, mortgage apps on the rise. What do you make of those numbers? Millennials, right? The mortgage apps are up almost 5% year over year. We have so many statistics, like the home builders are building more than they built in 2006. So everything points towards the, you know, the incline of, of the real estate market. So I, I think it's great, but people have been wise the last few years. And when I first started coming on y'all show, you know, five or six years ago, the conversation was about millennials driving the rental market, which means they weren't saving any money to go buy. But then they kind of caught wind of it, whether it was through us talking or, or through their parents talking to move out of their back house, and they saved their money up. And so these guys are actually going and preparing to purchase a property, maybe a little bit later in, in their life, maybe in their early 30s. But because of that, it's given people like me and my company here in Dallas, it's given us a sustainability in our career. Yeah, it's exciting. Um, one thought yeah, that I great. saw from Nomura was about interest rates. And we know that actually rates have pulled back a little bit, right? Bond yields have dropped a little bit. Um, mortgage rates are very affordable at this time. Right. But they said that that's somewhat of a short-term effect. And I wonder how that will play into sales of homes going forward. I don't. I think it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna have a negative effect. So, and if you guys are real estate obsessed like like we are, you're gonna see that they go and they pull these rates down in times of year that are seasonally slower. So that for our our job is normally really busy from February through August. Rarely do you see the Fed drop a rate April 15th. They're not gonna do that. That's tax season, and people are already blowing and going. So right now, people are already giving their 60 day notices for their lease, which means they're gonna buy. So they might not spend 400 thousand. They might spend 370 thousand, but they're still buying. So it just goes back to something like real estate has always been about location, but now it's really shifted more to a location, but what's more affordable. I think we're going to see that happen, right. which is going to give us, a, you know, at least another five years of a good run. Rogers Healy, thank you so much. Rogers Healy, owner of Rogers Healy and Associates Real Estate.